Okay, so we're looking at a few different items here put together. The big piece, this big old piece, all this big piece here. This is a sprocket holder from Azusa. It has a three quarter inch diameter bore and it has two set screw holes. With, they come with a set screw. There's one there. And there's one here. I put that set screw in there myself. Okay. So we're trying to fit this sprocket holder onto a PMA from Windblue, who make really good PMAs, permanent magnet alternator, as part of this project. Uh, but their PMA steel, stainless steel shaft is 17 millimeters. Why? I have no friggin' idea. That's frustrating because we don't deal with metrics here in the U.S. that much. But anyway. Uh, so three quarters is 0.75, or 17 millimeters, 0.669. So I ordered some three-quarter outside diameter tubing, which is what you see on this side here. It's outside diameter, three-quarter inch. Inside diameter, half inch. So <clears throat> the other video before this one shows uh, me cutting out that hole to point six, from 0 0.5 to 0.669. And here it is. Uh, this extra material is going to be cut off. I'm just going to take a cut off blade and cut it off when I finally have everything set up. Um, so there it is. I drilled a hole in the side of it. It's hard to tell it's there, but it's in there. And this is uh, the set screw on this is 5 16 by 18. And I just drilled a hole in the after I bored out the diameter of the uh, steel tube that I got from, uh, from these guys, Welder Series. Welder Series is um, welderseries.com. They have some steel tubing, they deal with old. Um, hot rods and you know coops and stuff like that so they're all about weldable components and I just ordered from them they're out of Canada they're called uh, Paul Horton's welder series I'm sure there's other places to get the material that's just something I went online and found so anyway whatever they sent me some tubing uh, and like inch and a half length and so I drilled a hole after I bored it out I drilled a hole inside with my v-block and match it up with the hole on the uh, sprocket holder, thread it through the sprocket holder, and right through the hole that I drilled out on the uh, on the insert here. So now, and I've already tried it, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it works. Um, I can just slide this right onto the shaft of the PMA. I'm just going to tap it on there with my rubber uh, mallet, and um, and bingo. I'm just waiting on some, I already, uh, another video you'll see that I already drilled and partially tapped the shaft, the stainless steel shaft on the PMA. I'm just waiting for the bottom taps to come in so I can finish tapping it all the way to the bottom of the hole. And once I'm done with that, this set screw is going to, you're going to see it just like this, through the sprocket holder, through the 17mm in, insert, and right into the shaft on the PMA so it'll all match up and it'll be nice and snug. So uh, a little bit of a pain in the rear, but it all worked out. So that's really cool. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to cut the material down because there's only about eight thousandths left on that uh, <clears throat> on that insert there, but it worked out really good. So that's what it looked like right there, half inch diameter. When I got it, that's what it looks like now on this side. Really cool, huh? Okay, so uh, cool beans, man. That's how that went. And uh, you now there's the the key to just put the set screw in. All right, thanks for hanging with me. Later.